Hello everyone, this is your Space Goat. Hope everyone's doing all right and having a good day. <clears throat> Today we're going to be looking at our 3D printed GPU stand. In the last video, I laid this out on, on my slicing software and, and got it ready to print. Well, this is the actual printed product. This here is the stand. You can see that you do have four mount holes. I actually drilled these holes up a little bit, sized them so I can get screws through there. They're intended for the whole screws to come in from the back through these four holes here. These are your locking lugs that allows you to lock another one next to it and so on and so forth. And also, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to print off a second one of these with all the... With so I can try out the locking mechanism. They also come with a, in the, in the files, you have a locking mechanism here, a bar that stretches out here. That way it allows you to mount cards end to end. This here is your support for the GPU. And we have the support for the GPU. So it's up here on top. But before I do all that, see this here, just snaps in like that. But I want to go ahead and put the fan on first. So let's get the fan mounted. So if I do this, hopefully I can see what I'm doing here. Get my handy dandy screwdriver. Not an iFixit screwdriver. This is my long reach screwdriver. So hopefully, when we get these to bite, we'll go catty corner. I'll get this one to bite. Let's see here. Yeah. A couple more screws here when we'll be done with this. Now I haven't done any any modifications to this to this print I printed it straight off just like that the author had on it used his recommended settings that he printed and so far it looks looks pretty nice pretty nice little setup Okay, for some reason, there was something in that fan. All right. All right, fan is mounted. Just like so. Now this bar here, I did have a little hiccup on my print. This actually pulled away from the bed a little bit. So if you can tell in the video, it does have a a little bit of a bow to it, but it's just a support for the GPU, so it's not a not real, real critical. It just snaps in like that. That's all it does. Pretty simple. Now I do have a GPU. This is one of my 1660 supers. Great little card, EVGA. I get about 32 mega hash out of these cards. I'll have in the link description, in the description below, a link to this card and some of the other cards, my, my preferred cards I like. I will use my iFixit screwdriver. And we mount it in here like so. And that's it. That's all it is. Really simple, easy to use. I hate to say it, other than the the time of printing these things off, this is much faster, much easier to assemble than 
a mining rig frame. And at the end of the day, it's just plastic. If you don't want it anymore, it's easy to get rid of or easy to disassemble, stack a whole bunch in a box. So pretty simple little, little setup there. I do have the fan blown this way. So it does push air away through the card. Nice fresh air through the card. And I said the card does have a little wobble to it, but it's, it's going to. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I can pick it up, move it around. It'll wiggle. But that's really about it, though. You don't worry about falling over. It looks nice. And being able to put the fans on it up front is actually pretty nice. You can put them fans directly right on the card. Each card has its own, own fan. I would use a probably a Molex connected fan type fan, or if you're using a four or three pin fan, you can get those little uh, uh, eight eight hub fan controllers. Pretty pretty cheap, about twelve dollars or so. But that's it, guys. For the and in the next video, I'll have uh, another one printed off, and we're gonna link them together and see how they how well they link. But so far. The quality is there, so I would think it would link together pretty well and be be good. So, all right, until the next video, I'll see y'all later.